Good evening and thank you for joining us on Y254 News Updates. My name is Patricia Moriyoki. Tonight we're going to be talking about building a moral life. We're going to see how do we uh, make sure that our behaviors, our attitude, and even the social media pressure that we get to see is going to impact our lives in a very positive way. And to help us talk about this topic tonight, we have Evie Phil Kyoko who, uh, of the Temple of Worship Ministries. He is a speaker and a life coach. We also have Gideon Mark Kumi, who is the Vice President of the Youth Mentorship Foundation. He is an Administrator and Human Resource Manager at Bethel Network. He is also a mentor. I forgot to mention that Hivi Phil is also a mentor. So we're going to be having this conversation in a short while. Be part of this conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Moriyuki. But before we and tonight we're talking about how to build a moral life. Thank you guys for finding the time to join us for this conversation. I'm sure it is a very important thing that sometimes we might talk about and other times we try to assume. But before we really dig deep into this conversation, I'll, I would like to start with you, Evie Phil, on what really do we mean when we talk about living a moral life? Living a moral life, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity. You're welcome. Living a moral life is living a life of integrity. Mm -hmm. It's living a life of uh, admiration. It's living a life that reflects true virtues mm -hmm. of a person with integrity. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Gideon, you're a young person mm -hmm. and I can say that if there are people really struggling to manage to live a, a moral life, mm. it's the young people because we have a lot of pressures. We have social media pressure. We have things that are changing, technology and all that, which is really affecting uh, young people. What would you say for you because you're a young person? What do you think really defines something as someone who is living a moral life? Thank you, Patricia. I think uh, when you discuss the subject morality mm -hmm. it is a wide area of it's a set of behaviors mm -hmm. that i believe as young people mm -hmm. we pick them f not at our at this age mm -hmm. at this stage mm -hmm. i understand there is influence of social media and yes. everything mm -hmm. but morality or morals mm -hmm. are things we pick mm -hmm. sometimes when we are very young mm -hmm. sometimes we pick them subconsciously Without no, without really knowing that there's something growing inside of us. Okay. Other times it's through the kind of things, we, the kind of setup that we've grown in, uh -huh. how we've been raised uh -huh. by our parents, uh -huh. the things we grow, the kind of environment we grow in. Uh -huh. Actually, we say that uh, behavior and morals is as a result of nature and nurture. Uh -huh. it, it has everything to do with where you you've been uh -huh. as you grow up. Okay. And. Uh, who who you are, who has raised your world, the values that have been instilled in you mm -hmm. while you are growing. Okay. So it's something, it's not a behavior that you pick on a single day, mm -hmm. that today you wake up and you are a moral upright person, mm -hmm. or you wake up and all of a sudden you are not a morally upright person. Okay. It is something, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I would like us to talk about traits. What then can we say is something that... Um, Compromises. What what can we look out for when we're trying to define someone who we can say is living a moral life? Uh, if you feel, uh, when you want to define a moral life in mm -hmm. a person, of course, you know, as a man thinketh, so is he. Mm -hmm. So it all starts from the line of thoughts of that person. Okay. You know, and the influence uh, of external influence mm -hmm. where that person has got in that line of thinking mm -hmm. you can also be influenced by peer pressure okay how you think you know people can influence you mm -hmm. uh, also as you said your environment mm -hmm. you, and uh, your environment where you stay can mm -hmm. greatly influence who you are okay and um, also your your foundation you know, you know the, the word of God says, train up a child in the way of the Lord, and when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. So also, the values that are instilled on you when you're younger mm -hmm. greatly influence the kind of a man you'll become in the future. Okay. Yes. Uh, you've talked about, when, you t when you're trying to give us a definition of yes. what living a moral life is, you talked about virtues. Yes. I'd really like you to mention, give us a few, like what do you think are some of the virtues and values that people can adopt to help them live a moral life? Okay. Basically, virtues are, 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 are good deeds 
or characters, positive okay. characters mm -hmm. that we inhabit okay. uh, that greatly influence who we are. And uh, for example, uh, kindness is a virtue, mm -hmm. you know, goodness is a virtue, mm -hmm. uh, you know, integrity is a virtue, okay. uh, you know, giving mm -hmm. is a virtue, you know, uh, basically good behaviors, basically good, uh, uh, virtue is, is anything positive that comes out of you, mm -hmm. uh, even learning to say thank you. Uh -huh. Something small, like to say thank you. I appreciate appreciating uh -huh. people. Sorry, uh -huh. those are virtues okay. that I think uh, the society should be able to embrace uh -huh. in their day-to-day -day lives. Okay, mm -hmm. so we know that for us to be able to live the moral life that we are talking about, I'm sure we need to have like times where we do self evaluations. Mm -hmm. You have a meeting with yourself. You check how have you been doing? Uh, how have you been relating with people? So, Gideon, how often do you think we should really? Of self evaluation and what really does that even mean for people who are watching us tonight? Self evaluation, I believe, if we want to grow and mm -hmm. become better, mm -hmm. all of us are work in progress, mm -hmm. so this is something you should do on a daily basis. I know there are the major ones, like at the end of the year, where we say you're mm -hmm. setting resolution and mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. but I believe the best approach is where you, t you, you keep track of your life. Mm -hmm. And you are able to take stock and ask yourself, where am I today? Mm -hmm. Am I living the kind of life that I wish, or have wished to, I desire? Mm -hmm. Am I living the kind of life that I'll say, mm -hmm. I'm happy? Mm -hmm. So uh, when it comes to issues of morality and where you are, mm -hmm. I believe it's a daily business. Okay. It's like uh, Zig Ziglar says, mm -hmm. motivation, they say motivation does not last. Mm -hmm. It's like a shower. You need one every day. Mm -hmm. So is growing yourself. And one has to be very intentional about it. Mm -hmm. One has to really, really be the one. You know, it's personal. Mm -hmm. It's so personal. Growth mm -hmm. and success in life, mm -hmm. including picking those virtues uh, Pastor Phil is talking about, mm -hmm. it is something you have to be very intentional about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, would, I really wanted us to touch on behavior and attitude as means that we should, up, what, what can we adopt really when it comes to behavior and attitude. And I would like to bring you, if you feel, on this one. When we talk about behavior, I would like you to talk about etiquette, I would like you to talk about respect, especially for parents, for mm. people who are, uh, who are older than us, and also for, for example, how do I also manage to respect Gideon as much as we are probably on the, uh, the same age? Okay. Uh, I'll call that personal development. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to invest in ourselves on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And it's not a one-off thing. Mm -hmm. It has to be a consistent work okay. for you to invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. And these are things, there are some things that are taught mm -hmm. and there are some things that are caught, mm -hmm. you know. And there are some things you can learn by your determination, by there are some things that you can mm -hmm. catch from people. Mm -hmm. So something like saying thank you, mm -hmm. I, I, I appreciate you, mm -hmm. I am sorry. You know, those are things that, 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 that we, are, we are taught mm -hmm. you, and you can teach yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are things also at the same time that are caught mm -hmm. because we see how people are behaving out there. Okay. And, they, and how people are behaving out there, it will either influence us positively mm -hmm. or negatively. Mm -hmm. So some of those virtues uh, take time if mm -hmm. you do not have them. Actually, they are disciplines. Mm -hmm. They are disciplines. It's a self-discipline mm -hmm. that you discipline yourself because you can choose to be to be a bad person. Yes, you can choose to be a bad person, mm -hmm. but when you discipline yourself mm -hmm. to be. Uh, who you want to be, mm -hmm. to be a great person. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, again, also you should look for a mentor. Okay. Uh, you have to look up to something. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, as a man thinketh, so is he. Mm -hmm. get, get a mentor who will mentor you. Somebody you can watch and catch the things he's, he's throwing at you mm -hmm. and catch the things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you will be able to develop yourself. Mm -hmm. You're able to have personal development mm -hmm. and the outcome of it basically will be positive okay. because you've picked up positive things. Okay. Yes. Uh, Gideon, uh, if you feel has talked about personal development, and I believe when we touch on personal development, it has a lot to do with attitude. Mm -hmm. Like for you to be able to grow as a person, it depends on the type of attitude that you carry on. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about attitude, how does our attitude now then, whether positive or negative, get to affect us in terms of talking about living a moral life? Uh, 
Attitude, we say, determines your altitude mm -hmm. in life. And sometimes you can be very good when it comes to the books. Mm -hmm. You have very nice papers. Mm -hmm. You have everything it takes to be said that you are qualified. And as HR, I've had an opportunity of interviewing many people mm -hmm. when we have openings. Mm -hmm. And I realize someone, when you look at their CV, in fact, you even put it aside because you believe this is the best person. This is the person that we are looking for. Uh, wait until it gets to that time of the interview mm -hmm. and the person is there. I tell you, it's not just about being sharp. It's not about being bright. Mm -hmm. It is about your attitude. How are you relating people? How are you? He talked about the respect. Mm -hmm. Do you show respect? Do you conduct yourself in the right way? And as long as your attitude is negative, unfortunately, it doesn't matter what else you have achieved. It it waters it that it waters everything down, because the right attitude and knowing how to behave when mm -hmm. and how to even respond to issues. Mm -hmm. Another word we would use is emotional intelligence. Okay. How how do you relate with people? Mm -hmm. How do you show you are? self how do you prove yourself right mm -hmm. it is not just about the papers it's about your heart mm -hmm. and the attitude is a matter of the heart mm -hmm. it's not about thinking it's how you allow your heart to grow mm -hmm. and how you allow your heart to pick those virtues we are talking about mm -hmm. those morals mm -hmm. because you can be very good at whatever you are doing but with the wrong attitude you wouldn't go far okay. so as young people we need to embrace the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Sometimes humility is never cowardice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes saying I'm sorry. Sometimes being patient, mm -hmm. it's not a problem. You can wait. Sometimes even just allowing yourself to look stupid. Mm -hmm. It is the stupid people or those who look stupid mm -hmm. that excel in life. Okay. But those who think they are know it all, mm -hmm. They have challenges. Okay. So I'd like us to talk about social media. Mm. With young people, most young people right now, uh, if you even walk in the streets of Nairobi, you just find people glued on their phones. Because uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter have become like a part of life. Mm. And we know there is positive and there is negative influence mm. from social media. But if you feel, I'd like to, for you to use that camera and talk to young people watching us tonight and how can they still be on social media but not let the pressure that they find there that is a negative influence mm. affect their lives in making choices that maybe 10 years down the line they'll look back and they, they'll probably not be there'll probably not, not be no chance for them mm. to redeem themselves thank you very much what i will tell the young people is that um, what you see on social media most of it is fiction mm -hmm. and uh, development has come yes we are living in a new era it's good to embrace the social media mm -hmm. but only take what builds you mm -hmm. you know only takes what makes you a better person okay. not what makes you a better person mm -hmm. only take what, what makes you grow to the next level mm -hmm. number two uh, uh, you do not have to die in the surrounding mm -hmm. you were born mm -hmm. you do not die you do, don't, don't have to die in the surrounding that influenced you mm -hmm. you can make a choice today mm -hmm. to change and become a greater person okay. remember it is how you take it mm -hmm. it, it, it is the people you work with mm -hmm. when you work with great people mm -hmm. you become great okay. when you work with losers you, you become, become a loser, a loser. Okay. so when you're talking about the social media it is always very important and we pick what will build us mm -hmm. pick what will make you a better person pick what you grow you mm -hmm. number three invest in yourself mm -hmm. buy books go to social media read mm -hmm. you know read things that that will make you a better person you, you ask yourself questions have a conversation have meetings with yourself mm -hmm. how do I become a better person mm -hmm. how do I become a better man how do I grow me and also become jealous guard your dignity mm -hmm. let me tell you people can take away anything from you but what they can take away is your dignity mm -hmm. be a dignified person protect your dignity when you go to social media, don't post things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, sometimes I see people posting, posting themselves half naked. Mm -hmm. You know, those things will stay there and you'll have a life impact on your life. Mm -hmm. You know, pick things that will grow you. Mm -hmm. Pick things that will make you better. Mm -hmm. And at the end of, of the day, when you sow a good seed, mm -hmm. you will harvest good mm -hmm. for your future. Uh, I like something that you've talked about. People will post anything on social media. Yes. Let's just talk about the morality of dressing. 
Mm -hmm. We really don't have much time, but I would really like us to talk about the morality when, we, when it comes to dressing. We know there is um, my dress, my choice, but really where now do we get to draw the line and be like, it is your choice, but when you get to, to maybe probably go past this line, then you're really having your morality affected, Gideon. Uh, I think uh, when it comes to dressing, mm -hmm. most uh, important is to ask yourself, why am I dressing this way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I put on, if I'm a lady, mm -hmm. I put on something that is showing my breast, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. why am I doing it? Mm -hmm. Is it because of the person I'm going to meet? Mm -hmm. Or probably I want to get that job through whatever they see, the cleavage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're a man, you put something very tight, is it to impress the ladies? Mm -hmm. I think motivation for how you dress mm -hmm should be the first question. Uh -huh. Don't dress to impress. Uh -huh. Dress respectably, respect, uh, respectably mm -hmm. uh -huh. in a way that if a person sees you, uh -huh. they will respect you for whom you are. Uh -huh. Because we are told first impression really matters. Uh -huh. okay. There's a place you go and how you are dressed will put off the guys who are there. Uh -huh. Because sometimes you may not, you may innocently dress, but probably you've not dressed appropriately according to mm -hmm. the, the standards of where yeah. you're going, mm -hmm. and people will mistake you for mm -hmm. something else. Okay. They'll, conf they'll think you came to sell more than your creativity, mm -hmm. you came to sell more than mm -hmm. what they were looking for, mm -hmm. and that way you lose opportunities. Mm -hmm. So as young people, it doesn't hurt to cover yourself where it's necessary to cover. Mm -hmm. And when God was creating us, I believe there is a reason why at that time Adam and Eve uh, were given that cover mm -hmm. after they realized they were naked. Okay. Why are we changing the narrative? Mm -hmm. Why are we using our dress? Sometimes people even complain that this guy looked at me inappropriately. Mm -hmm. This girl looked at me in a way that was no good. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what was my contribution mm -hmm. towards that reaction from that person? Okay. So it has, it should really be a question of would I be, if anyone else, if someone else was dressed that way, mm -hmm. would I be comfortable in their presence? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm making you happy mm -hmm. with the way I look? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you feel, uh, for someone who is watching us tonight and mm -hmm. they believe they have been... Uh, living a life that has not seen them maybe make the best uh, decisions what is your message today for someone who really wants now to go back and live a moral morally upri upright life it begins with a self-conviction mm -hmm. you have to have a conviction from within you mm -hmm. that you want to change mm -hmm. And uh, there's always room to change mm -hmm. and there's always room to become a better person. Mm -hmm. But for you to become a better person, you have to be hungry mm -hmm. and thirsty for it. Mm -hmm. You have to say, I am tired of living the kind of life that I'm living. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a responsible young person. And it is possible. Mm -hmm. And I have seen so many young people that have changed their lives, mm -hmm. you know, changing from drugs, abuse and all that, and becoming better people. Mm -hmm. And it needs you to make a choice and to understand that your life is in your hands. Mm -hmm. It is not in anybody's hands. And when you fail, you will be the laughing stock first of all of yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> you will be the laughing so first of all of yourself so you have to make that choice and make a move and say i am tired of living this kind of life mm -hmm. and i am becoming a better person mm -hmm. and now begin to invest in yourself begin to de develop yourself that mm -hmm. is where, where personal development comes in mm -hmm. begin to invest in yourself grow you mm -hmm. you know grow you jealously that's oh. the right word mm -hmm. grow you jealously mm -hmm. and Keep the right company as well. Okay. Don't just work with people. Uh, show me a champion and I will show you his friends. Mm -hmm. You know, work with champions. Work with mighty men of valor. People mm -hmm. who will grow you. Mm -hmm. People who will groom you. You know, number three, I, I read books, as I said earlier. Read mm -hmm. books, read material. Mm -hmm. Go to the net. Mm -hmm. You know, ask questions because okay. always be willing to learn. Uh, and again, get a mentor. Get somebody you can, you can look up to. Mm -hmm. You know, who, you, who, who you, you can look up to and who can grow you and influence you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do that, you you you, you start Stagnate in one point, mm -hmm. and sometimes you think you're growing, and you're not. Okay. Uh, as you wind up, I'd like us to look as, at two areas. I would like, uh, if you feel, to address the role of the church in mm -hmm. making sure that we are bringing up a generation that is morally upright. Mm -hmm. And I would like uh, Gideon to look at the role of the family. Let me start with you, Gideon. What is the role of the family in making sure that we're bringing up a generation that is morally upright? Um, 
It begins with our parents. Mm -hmm. And for those parents who are watching, mm -hmm. I think it's very important to know that your son or your daughter, mm -hmm. much of whom they'll become, really depends on how you raise them. Mm -hmm. And if you want to raise a morally upright child, start by being morally upright yourself. Because children pick what they're saying. I started by saying that we are product of nature and nurture. Mm -hmm. So how you nurture these children will really matter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may not have everything. Some of us were not raised in the best places. Mm -hmm. But something we are thankful uh, to our parents about mm -hmm. is that at least they believed that you can become a morally upright person mm -hmm. even if you don't have everything. Okay. So our moms and our dads, we're really looking up on you as role models. Mm -hmm. It takes so many things to make up a child mm -hmm. and the major ones are what they go through mm -hmm. in their formative stages mm -hmm. some of the t sometimes allow children the freedom to express themselves mm -hmm. but guide them i need parents to understand that a child is not your subject it is a blessing that god brought to you and your work is to raise them god brought this person to you you guide them. Because mm -hmm. I think where the conflict is coming nowadays, and especially because children are thinking that their freedom is curtailed, most of them, they use the, le the, 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 most the, the least opportunity they'll get mm -hmm. to do these things that they think their parents will not do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes discuss with your children, allow them to express themselves, let them come and tell you, if it's a girl, let him come, let her come and tell you, Mom, I think I'm in love with this child. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying children to get into a relationship yeah. early, mm -hmm. but I'm saying at that time when they met someone and they think there's something they're feeling, mm -hmm. allow them to come and talk about it. If okay. it is a boy, Mom, I think I love this girl, mm -hmm. then you guide them from there. Okay. You show them this is the right age, this is the right time, and mm -hmm. the right way to go about it. Mm -hmm. And family at large, I think if a child gets the support that they need, in terms of someone they can speak to, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, an environment that is friendly mm -hmm. to grow, I believe they become morally upright because it takes a lot of support. Don't allow someone, if that child, to go and pick behaviors and some mannerism from their peers okay. because they'll get lost along the way. Okay. Let them pick from their immediate family mm -hmm. so that they know I have a place where I can grow and I can share my thoughts mm -hmm. without being pressed down. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you feel uh, our final contributor to this, what is the role of the church? The role of the, ch the church is a big role because mm -hmm. the church is a cornerstone mm -hmm. of, of the society mm -hmm. and, and the family as well. Mm -hmm. And it is important for the church to put in more programs for the young people, mm -hmm. you know, mentorship programs, youth mm -hmm. conferences, mm -hmm. so that these young people can get guidance mm -hmm. from, 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 from the church. Mm -hmm. And the Bible is one of the most powerful tools that will give the right values mm -hmm. uh, you know to to, to to our young people mm -hmm. uh, and when we have these conferences and these events that the young people can be able to come and this youth comes mm -hmm. where the young people can come and, and, and they can be instilled values mm -hmm. that can greatly influence them mm -hmm. as they go out into the society it, it will be great mm -hmm. and I will urge the church leaders uh, pastors elders mm -hmm. to take up the responsibility and add more programs for the young people mm -hmm. so that the society can be complete because when you put God at the center of everything even the family mm -hmm. at the center of your integrity at the center of your value systems mm -hmm. I you will not go wrong okay yes uh, I believe that for everyone who has watched us tonight and probably mm -hmm. even for someone who's going to look uh, at these later on they are going to learn very uh, they have learned so much mm -hmm. and thank you very much guys for finding the time I'm going to have you very soon to talk about depression in men because mm -hmm. I believe it's a very big challenge oh, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. so thank mm -hmm. you very much for everyone who are tuned in today for Y254 news updates my name is Patricia Moriuki do have yourselves a very good night Thank you.